touching down in a little-known corner of paradise. But would-be visitors have to be lucky and patient to be allowed in. Everyone needs a permit from the Indian government, and the waiting list is one year long. The new arrivals aren't allowed out of this room until their documents have been thoroughly checked. Basically, they need a special permit. As police, we have to verify everything. So tourists can go everywhere in India, but not here? No, they can come here, but they need a permit. Once they've been let out, they are piled into these official taxis. And then onto the official tourism boat. The archipelago is called Lakshadweep. It means 100,000 islands in the local tongue. There are actually 36, and 10 of them are inhabited. Hotel blocks are nowhere to be seen. Visitors stay in these huts. The uh, tent is already made up with uh, no any cement or any other um, chemical activities. Only we are using natural and uh, coconut leaf and uh, bamboo. And there are only 13 huts. The Indian government wants to protect the precious yet fragile environment, particularly the coral. If mass tourism were to come here, the reefs wouldn't survive, and the islands would also be in danger. We, we get good protection from the uh, corals. So otherwise, when big waves are coming nearby the shore, sometimes this soil erosion will happen more, and some so many coconut trees are fall down because of that just, uh, big waves. So we have to keep that corals alive. Locals earn a living by selling fish and coconuts. Some would like to see tourism develop a bit more. It says they can provide at least 10 rooms or 5 rooms for one person and make the arrangement, all the things. That's better. This used to be a small hotel, but it's been abandoned because the Indian government shut it down. And there are no plans to open any more. For now, protecting the environment comes first. <laughs>